Hi, this is just a short video on plotting log functions. Um, now a log function is of this form, y equal to log of x to some base, so let's call it a. So a log function will be typically of that format. Now, I know a lot of students don't like logs, and um, I think that's a little bit unfair. Logs aren't too bad, you know. So let's have a quick look at uh, some some logs to get familiar with the idea. And I'm going to use base 2, right? So remember in here, this, this base here is the number that's raised to a power. So this is our base. So for example, you have um, you have a to the power of y. This is the power over here, okay? So we have a base, and we have a power, and then this bit up here, the x bit, is actually the result. The uh, when you raise a to the power of y, we get we get x. So let's look at uh, with some numbers in there. Y equal to log. Uh, let's have a base of two, and let's call this eight. So two to the power of what gives us eight? Uh, clearly, it is three. The power is three. That ra two is raised to to give us eight. So when x is eight you could say uh, y is 3. So um, 3 is equal to log of 8 to base 2. So that gives you a pair of coordinates, an ordered pair of 8 and 3. Now what are the other powers of 2? Well 2 squared gives us 4. So if we get the uh, if we get sub 4 in for x that gives us a 2. 2 to the power of 2 gives us 4. And what other powers of 2 are there? Well, 2 to the power of 1 gives us uh, 2. So let's look at it this way. So when x is 2, y is 1. So let's, let's put that in. 2 and 1 is a ordered pair. And when x is 4, remember this is the x coordinate here. Uh, when x is 4, y is 2. So we've got We've got quite a number of points here already in our function, and let's let's get a few more. Uh, what other powers of two are there? Well, two to the power of zero is is always one. So, so remember, this is your power over here. So, in two to the power of zero, log to base two, and that gives you a one. So, so that means when x is one, y is zero. And this will happen for any base at all, because anything to the power of zero gives you one. So, in general. All of your log functions, if they're of the form log of x to base a, will go through this point here. So this point 1 and 0 is uh, is always, always on the function y equal to log of x to base a. Lovely. Um, so... Let's plot a few more. Other powers of 2. Um, okay, we've done 3, 2, 1, 0. What about if y is minus 1? So if 2 to the power of minus 1 is the same as 1 over 2 to the power of 1, which is just 1 over 2. So the x bit here is 1 over 2. So log of 1 over 2 to base 2 is minus 1. That's the power. So we have the ordered pair here, a half minus 1. And uh, we'll do a few more now. We'll do minus 2. So 2 to the power of minus 2 is uh, 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 over 4. So my x coordinate is 1 over 4. Base 2, and that is, okay, so a quarter is my x coordinate. And minus 2 is my y. And let's do one more. And I think you'll see that this is 1 over 8. Because 2 to the power of minus 3 is 1 over 2 cubed, which is 1 over 8. So when x is 1 over 8, y is minus 3. Now, my x coordinates here will have to be positive because 2 to the power of any number will give me a positive number. So it's only possible for me to substitute x values into this function. So really, with my function up at the top, uh, my general format of the function is 
uh, y equal to log of x to base 2, you would generally say with this kind of function that um, x is an element of maybe the reals plus, or you would say uh, x is an element of the set maybe from uh, 0 to plus infinity. So just, just the positive part of the x-axis. Um, and 0 wouldn't be included because 2 to the power of something always gives you some value. Even 2 to the power of 0 gives you 1. And 2 to the power of a negative value just gives you a fraction. So let's try and plot this now. I should rewrite my x and y coordinates somewhere where I can see them and then I'll plot the graph. Okay, these are my x and y coordinates. So my x-axis, I want to go from 0 up to 8. But I also want to have halves and quarters. So I want to make sure that uh, my my spaces are quite big. Now my y-axis, I'm going to go from plus 3 down to minus 3. So let's just sketch that now. Okay, I've sketched my x and y axes and I've allowed myself enough space to put in halves and quarters and an eighth. And now my x coordinate, uh, the first one I have along here is where x is 8 and y is 3. So 1, 2, 3, that's up here. Now when x is 4, y is 2, so that's up here. When x is 2, y is 1. When x is 1, y is 0. Now I mentioned that this point here that I'm drawing is going to be on every single function of the form y equal to y equal to log of x to base a uh, because uh, a to the power of 0 is always 1. So also think about this on this side. These are the powers, okay? And these are the these are the results here. So when x is uh, when x is 2, we have 2 to the power of 2. Uh, sorry, we have 2 to the power of 1, which gives us uh, 2. 2 to the power of 2 gives me 4. 2 to the power of 3 gives me 8. So we're raising, the 2 is our base, we're raising 2 to the power each time, and these are our powers on our y-axis. Now when x is a half, we get minus 1, so that's here. When x is a quarter, we get minus 2, so that's down here. And when x is an 8, we get minus 3, so that's down here. And I'll just try and draw this now. And I'll keep going down and down and down and down, and this will keep going up and up and up and up and up. Okay, so this is the function. I've just drawn y equal to log of x to base 2. Why don't you try yourself drawing the function y equal to log of x to base 3. So we will be looking for the powers of 3. 3 will be our base. So why don't you try that yourself and you will see a pattern developing. Okay, I hope this has helped in this video. Uh, thanks for watching. That's all for now.